Hey guys, Wondering Shell here, and once again we're doing another Marvel United. This time it's going to be the gold team. Uh, he is going to be the first one, Colossus. He's actually one of my favorite characters. I think I have a thing with accent guys. Because the first, you know, in the previous episode where I had a, a Colossus who was evil, I like Colossus. Um, then the previous box, uh, it was Gambit. Because I like Gambit. I think I have a thing with guys with accents. Go figure. Anyway, uh, so I started off with plate metal, actually, and it's not sil uh, shiny silver. Um, you'll see later on that I actually do use shining silver for the highlighting part of it, but for his base coat, it is going to be plate mail. And he is everywhere metal. So, take some time to get all the little nooks and crannies of where it's located. And I do want to let you guys know, I do use Army Painter paints, but I've been lately using Citadel brushes. Um, so that's a little different. Next, uh, we did the yellow and kind of like a, it's like a yellow in between and on his belt too. So simple yellow uh, didn't mix it with like metals or anything because that's what it didn't look like it didn't look that shiny in the picture so I kept it as just a simple yellow and this is the f first Colossus that is a good guy uh, the last one I did he was a bad guy for days of future not days of future past uh, Phoenix 5 that's what it was <laughs> I had to look literally at the box to figure it out. Next, I actually did his hair. His hair is actually just matte black. Uh, last time I did do it like that too, and then in his highlight I did rough iron. <laughs> What's funny is I was thinking to do rough iron for the base coat of it this time, but I chose just matte black um, just to keep it as is. So, and besides, I'm using matte black for that little bit on the legs, so it kind of worked out. And then, also for his little belt buckle right there, gotta get that taken care of. I didn't add the red yet. Uh, because I wait until the end for the because of the highlighting and uh, because of the tones, I feel like it's gonna get lost. Next in this part, I actually combined dragon red and the plate mail base coat, waiting for that to dry. Uh, I did the tone. Now, what you all know is for my heroes, I always do a soft tone, so. He had no uh, flesh wash because he is made out of metal, so soft tone all the way. Nice and simple. And then I do have to wait a while for that to dry, so it does take some time. Then time for the highlighting. I did start out with adding pure white at different shine points on the metal of his outfit. Because you'll see when I go back to it, um, it's even brighter. I've done this with the gold in a few other characters and I wanted to try it out with something that's not gold but still has that metal look to it. So for his metals, uh, for his skin tone, I actually use shining silver for this part just to give it a little bit brighterness to it. I just switch brushes for a second. I'm gonna get little crevices and things like that. And anything that's raised is getting that paintbrush. Even his hands. I try to stay clear f away from like the indents, the ingrooves of his skin tone. Uh, so you can really see those dimensions. Trying to 
go over even any other places that have his skin tone. Or his metal tone, I guess. There's so many spots, I didn't realize how many there was. And it is also, I'm not doing the red until the last, because I want to make sure that white dries up as much as it can. So now I'm doing the highlight for the yellow and all I did was anything that was raised gets yellow. Nice and simple. And now here we go. Save the best for last. Yes, it just looks like I'm just painting pure red on him, uh, but it does have a little bit of that undertone of the metal. So it makes it a little bit more metallic-y looking, I hope. At least to me it does. And it again, it's camera doesn't show it fully, but in real world it kind of has that undertone of having the metal metallic look, unless I've been staring at this for way too long and my eyes are cross-eyed. Yep, gotta get the butt. <laughs> and he's almost pretty much done. I just gotta do his boots. And he'll be pretty much done. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you guys soon. Uh, before I go, please leave a like, comment below. And really subscribe um, that would be really appreciated if you guys subscribed so I know I keep making these um, other than that I will see you guys for the next one later